friends, it's another cheap video. So today is kind of exciting because stuff showed up. So I ordered this yesterday on Rock Auto. That is the ignition coil assembly. Um, the box is way oversized, but I'm shocked that it showed up the next day. I just love Rock Auto. And then this is a new track bar. I splurged and bought an adjustable track bar because the track bar that's under there is bent. I don't know if the body shop's gonna want it. And then this is a new radiator, new to this Jeep at least. It's a salvage radiator from LKQ. Uh, so we're gonna unbox it and see what they sent us because yeah, this one has, you kind of can see there, It's it's got some rash on it from uh, the accident where the frame flexed or the body flexed. Anyway, so that's what we're kind of working on and gosh, it's hot in here, or it's cold in here. So I'll turn it up a degree. So uh, anyway, let me find a place to mount the camera and I'll start doing some unboxing here. Yeah, let's move that over. All right, so let's start with Rock Auto because this should be the simplest of the boxes to unbox. Sweet. Let's see if we've got... Yeah. So it's just a Delphi ignition coil. I thought Delphi would probably be a little bit better manufacturer than some of the other options. And it is an old Z car. A 240Z is the magnet of the bump. So we'll just stick that there. That's not a bad place for it. And then what's the rest of this? So there is our Delphi coil. I want to say this was about 80 bucks. So we'll set it over here. We're going to mess with that in a separate video today. And then of course we got a whole bunch of air from their, their uh, warehouse. All right. Next up. is an adjustable track bar. That's what this is. Huh, okay, well, that's interesting. I wasn't really expecting. Oh, these are the, um, I know what these are. So these are my uh, sorry, I can't open a box and talk. Um, so these are the Moog upper control arms. The control, upper control arms that I have are completely trash. So here they are. So I bought these. Uh, these will go in the Jeep because, well, the frame shop may or may not want them. If they don't want to mess with it, I will. But these need to be replaced because the two that are under there are munched. should be a rough country adjustable track bar. Now, I didn't have an adjustable track bar on this vehicle originally, but I think I definitely think it needs one, and so I made the investment to put one on there. Uh, I've got a two and a half inch suspension lift, and there's very likely gonna be some permanent frame damage. Um, I'll probably end up replacing the uh, upper lower control arms with adjustable ones so I can get the the alignment dialed in but for now the Moog ones were like $23 a piece so I'll post part numbers for everything I bought uh, and I'll post the Delphi ones uh, again I'm an Amazon Associates member so if you use my links I get a small commission I do appreciate the support of the channel let's see you know what I'm not gonna open this I don't know if the body shops gonna mess with this or not if they do it's here if they don't want to mess with it I will and that'll be another video Last 
but not least, let's see if we can figure out a way inside this box. So this was $138 at LKQ. Again, I, you know, I don't know how long I'm going to get out of it, but I wanted to start with just a known point, and I want to control my costs on my rebuild. I don't want to put a $400 radiator in if I can put a $130 radiator in and get it back on the road. I can always buy another radiator later. So I originally ordered one out of Alabama that was salvaged. That vehicle, when I ran the VIN, it had always been in the south. I got shanghai uh, They called me about two days later, said the radiator I ordered did not meet their standards, so they found me one out of Minnesota or North Dakota or somewhere in the north where it snows and there's a lot of ice. And I'm hoping there's not signs of salt damage on here. So this is what we got. Uh, you know, there's some there's some love marks on this radiator, but and those are a little bit closed out. I mean, this radiator's been beat a little bit. It did come with a cap, and you know, I think it'll be okay. I think it'll get me back on the road. I don't know how long it's going to last, and it may end up getting replaced. Uh, I am going to replace the, the cap, even though that's not an aftermarket cap. I mean, that's an aftermarket cap. I'm still going to replace this cap. You know, again, the goal today is to get back on the road. This is $138 worth of get back on the road, even if I later just have problems with this and decide to replace it. I don't think it's that horrible of a radiator, but it's certainly not... Um, I'm not happy to see smashed fins, but it probably does legitimately meet the service standard. I mean, that's a little excessive to me, but is it going to stop the radiator from working? No, it's not. So I'm going to put it on the plywood over here and we'll deal with it at reassembly. You know, again, it's a little rougher than, than I would like it to be, but... This is a salvage Jeep, not a beauty pageant. Because you don't want to see me in a bikini. It wouldn't be pretty, I promise. Uh, anyway, so that's it for show and tell with new new parts and toys and and uh, spend miss. Sort of like Christmas, but you spend money on it instead. Next, we're gonna get. I'm gonna do another video on installing this Delphi, and I'm gonna see if that solves my crank problem. Fingers crossed, it does, and I can start the Jeep. At which point, then I'm gonna turn around and start taking the fucking motor out. Oops, did I say the F word? Oh, fuck. Oh, I did it again! Oh, naughty, naughty. Anyway, and I might stop and put some lights up, because it's dark in here. I know. For those of you who don't have 15 LED lights, it may not seem dark, but you really can't have enough light when you're working on uh, a vehicle. I am going to save the cardboard, because I promise there'll be something I wind up painting, or needing to do and I'll need the cardboard so I'm gonna throw it up there on top of all that fiberglass over there it'll keep so uh, thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video check out my playlist I've got a whole series of videos on this salvage Jeep rebuild and um, it's kind of a fun project and we'll we'll get after it hey friends one other thing I forgot to mention about this radiator that hundred and twenty eight or hundred thirty eight dollars I paid on LKQ online that included the shipping I don't know what kind of discounts they get, but even with half off, this would have been 60 bucks. I mean, this has got to be, this has got to be oversized one, maybe oversized two. So they dim weighted it. Uh, third party billing. Yeah, I guarantee. Uh, so they dim weighted it at 40 pounds. I I guarantee you this was 50 or 60 bucks in shipping. So. Realistically, I paid 70 or 80 bucks for that radiator. I'm okay with a used radiator at 70 or 80 bucks to get me on the road. And there ain't no free lunch with UPS and FedEx. I mean, if you absolutely need it destroyed, crushed, or lost by tomorrow, call them. If you want it delivered by an unhappy employee who's angry at the world, ship it postal. <laughs>